Welcome back, everybody, to the Warlord of Espes Plays Torment Titus New and Era, episode 88. Last time, we did a little bit of side questing and we're trying to um, finish some um, missions for the people. So let's uh, get um, Ohm. I believe this is how I'll get him. Flying Towers. Blah, 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 from within your oh all okay. right oh, that's home come to me oh blah 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 no oh, you said something interesting oh oh what's the thing above the on the ground bleh am you again something is different with him now or maybe it was always there you can only feel it thanks to Bleu's training. You feel the tides rising and falling within your companion. A circular, circular searching like an ocean storm. Sought in glass sphere. Align yourself with the tides raging in Ohm. The, the decision is all it takes. The tides fall over you, ripping you from the world, bearing you into darkness past the imprisoned but your imprisonment, but your sire and the and the captors. Though the rise and fall of a mighty forever nameless civilizations through centuries, millennia, eon, aeons, eons, you fall, fall into a shallow pool of memories. At the root of it all, the beauty of Ohm's that long, long life. You see a world of oceans at the of the sun. You see the world of oceans of the same liquid that makes Ohm. You see towers rising from the white sands, made of the liquid and held together by mastery of the tides. You are held not in the arms, but in something that looks much like you, only larger, and unlike you, alive, real. You sense you were made for it. You are and are grateful. In sense, you were made to uh, touch it, and you are grateful for that too. But you were made to uh, too well, made to last. Eventually, they discard you and others like you. You are obsolete, and that is still your uh, greatest shame, even now. But you live on, and worse, understand what understand what you see. Ruin comes to a uh, your small world, decay, war. The towers fall, and then the end comes. Fall filling the skies, the oceans boil, and the gore splatter sand views into crystal. Mu the moon burns to a tarry black. The memories fade, leaving you in darkness, but you your thoughts slowly return to you. Mm. Say nothing. You bite down the guy your questions and Ohm's grat gratitude warms your face like an invisible sun. Making a note. Ooh, beloved. When your senses return one by one, e Ohm stares up at you. Proud, sorrowful, it isn't clear how you know these things, but you can pr practically taste them. W within Ohm, the five colors of the tide bloom and fa fade away. And you understand this much at last. The creature was made to uh, teach you the ties uh, to the children of the lost world. It was a toy and through uh, your efforts it has succeeded once again. Maybe uh, you maybe in your and you and you taste Ohm's hope in the uh, in the thought for the very last time. Hmm. I don't understand what happened, you know. All on the ground, the tendrils toward the ground, he hesitates. Hoffly. At last, he draws a square upon the ground, a glistening fluid, watching and make sure it has your attention. It draws a line from the square, connecting it with another line itself. It finishes with its two square squares at the other, either end. I will help you, hopefully. Um, add your own shape to the helm's drawing. 
One watches count hopefully as you add circles uh, and rectangles to the square. It seems to sag how one realize you have drawn a little horse. <laughs> little houses. Add several uh, add several and just several symbols to the center of the square. Glances up at the blank face and wa works faster. Pulling after a lot after a, a last des des uh, despairing look at you. Um clears the drawing with her irritable swipe of a tendril and turns away. <laughs> Sir, he grumbles. A battered instrument lies uh, in smooth, slender hands. Its strings uh, are missing and cannot be played. You haven't failed me, Ohm. You aren't broken. Uh, Ohm swells at your words. Mm. Can you tell me more about what happens to your world? Um goes still and ripples the light coiling over the center of the eyes, hiding the memory stored the, there. It seems to uh, the answer to your question is new. No. Yet your minds are tangled, uh, tangled together, and you catch the uh, faintest uh, glimpse of the world of horrors before the floodgates of Owen's memory slam mercifully shut. A charred moon, uh, tornadoes uh, of ash and an ocean of dead flesh. Delicious. Then uh, the images fade. Ohm looks up at you. Mutually apologetic. apologetic. They wasn't able to stop uh, you from seeing as much as you did. Oh, it tips Ohm's eyes again. Uh, carefully, no, nothing happens. It's showing you all it tends to, uh, apparently. Pet Ohm. Always uh, nice to pet Ohm. Uh, Alright. Neat. Did I get anything from that? Like, stats or anything oh I guess I got a level so that's always good level uh, I could increase edge make more effort I think I'll increase edge and actually do it for might so next time I'll at least have two free ones I can use no matter what even though I'm not good at might stuff I understand now Alright, just making sure. Alright, nothing new for any of that. Alright, so Ohm can go back. Alright, for now. And then get Tiber back. Tiber. Tiber. Never felt better than I do right now. Put the rope away. Alright. He says he knows Rin, so I'm just curious if that uh, has anything to do with it. Blah, blah, blah. You recognize Rin, don't you? I believe I do, he says to Rin. You came through me, didn't you, my dear? Yes, her eyebrows jump high in uh, recognition. I mean, you were there. When I came through, what what do you mean? I can't. I came through you. I came through you. You emerged from another world while I was feeding on the dying love between a married couple. He beams at her. I don't know why you, you ran off. He says with a frown. I would have been happy to help out you find your way home after I finished eating. Pierre's looking at that with a little horror at his clothes and the maw underneath. I was scared of everything, she gives a tumbling courtesy. Curtsy. I offer apologies for, for my rudeness. I was not well. She grabs your arm. And, uh, she obviously is trying to control her emotions, but she bounces on the balls of her feet and uh, the corner of her mouth curl and uncurl her. We're responsible grin. If this is it, she uh, whispers. My home. Hmm. Turn to Anne. Uh. And come back. No, she yanks her hands away from you, stomping her feet in a brief moment. She looks much older than. She says, I have, have to. Um, have to know. She turns to Anne. What do you need to go home? My mom does not open whatever. Whenever I will it. He says, patting his chest out finally. It requires sustenance. That. 
The bands of love, bands of love and hate. The bind us. Bring me someone who feels strongly for you. And well, we need to secure a path from uh, from this now. Uh, the little one. All right. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I guess we're gonna say uh, bye to Rin, which is sad. But first, uh, before we do that, we need to take off uh, her items. Now those are her, because uh, we don't want those to disappear on us. All right, I can have six. She needs three. Doesn't really matter. And you can only take one. The, I guess I'm gonna have cipher sickness for a little while. All right. So we're in. We're gonna say bye to Rin, I guess. Well, my friend Wanderer here will help me feed you. Wanderer shuffles over flesh with delight, a process of help, being helpful to you. Elon doesn't ask questions of the big man, but you can't catch them. You can barely think. Pleasant warmth throughout overwhelms your mind. Shutting out everything else. The mom peels open, the, uh, you squint, and a sudden bright light filters into the darkness of the bloom. You breathe involuntary, involuntary as a sharp, pungent smell strikes your nostrils. As your eyes adjust, you see green grass, uh, bushes, and trees. So many trees. It seems like uh, Anne Tarzan isn't even there anymore. Just the window into another world. She stares, tears falling freely down her face. She looks at you and her face falls. I don't know what to do. She looks at them, uh, then back to you. Now what am I? Now that I'm here. Go, Ren. It's your home. Your family. I'll miss her. She was one of my favorite characters. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. She lunges towards it. Lunges towards you, throwing her arms around you. She squeezes you tightly, crying into your chest for several moments. Finally, she pulls away and uh, puts something into your hand. Uh, Gold Tide raised a huge amount. I made a god for you, a god of friends and finding. I don't know how strong he is, but maybe he'll help you see each other again someday. Making a note. Come on, come on, Al. I want to show you well everything. She steps uh, toward uh, Oblivious uh, Ford. Oblivious uh, or unheeding to the fact she's walking into a person. Into a person. She doesn't care. She fin she's finally home. The mall closes uh, up behind you. Behind her. And Tarzan closes uh, his clothing again. Conceal it. He uh, sniffs and wipes his cheeks. He says nothing but stops you uh, with a gesture and shakes your his head. Finally, he, he regains his uh, comfort and says, That was. He shakes his head again, seemingly una un unable to say anymore. Makes me miss my knees. Wonder how old she, she'd she be by now. Mm hmm. Now I have cipher sickness because I have one extra. So. I have a slot open for a new companion. So. Well, I guess we'll have to figure out who. I think we finished Ohm's quest line. I don't definitely don't want Elgarn. You know, Iridus. I love you, Iridus. You're funny. Strange. An idea is occurring to me. You have ideas. Let's talk to Iridus. I thought the inside of my mouth was strange, but this place. It's like being inside my mouth. Well, it's inside another mouth. That is one way to put it, yes. This place has promise. Many opportunities for excitement and sacrifice. What's strange about the inside of your mouth? All mouths are strange. Flashy bits uh, flapping and squashing behind exposed bones. He paused mid uh, shudder and thinking, Although, my mouth doesn't have it. anyone walking around in it, and in comparison to this place, anything, anything's normal. 
bees. Thank you. My mouth is no longer makes me nervous. Questions about you. Keep hearing in your head. <laughs> Alright, you're still not going to talk about the voices. How are things between us? Great. He declares throwing his hands in the air. I know we had the same instincts for adventure. Alright. Let's continue on. Alright. Can you, uh... Yeah, you... Actually, you can take the two extra ones. Good. Now we'll get the... Uh, rid of those. Excellent. Uh... So... Great sword. And uh, Alright. Let's see what we got for items for them. Ah, oh, man, I wish I, uh, remembered, um, or, uh, knew about the ore beforehand, because I could have upgraded their equipment, too, which is disappointing. Alright, they're actually pretty good with me, friendly-wise. So, what about that sword? God of Finding. Ring gave you this very small knife just before she returned to her world. She called it a god of friends and finding. She admitted it might not be the very very strong, and she hoped it would help you and her find each other again someday. The plate is dull and it is too small to be useful as a weapon. Alright. So it's just neat for now, I guess. I guess it'll come up in handy some other time. Who knows? Checking my stats. Guys are super under leveled and going to be terrible to use, but oh well. All right, we're still looking for my friend. I mean, my friend's friend. All right. So I guess we keep on talking to people. All right. Nope. 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 Yes. Nope. Nope. Not Here sure. Boredom, Here comes the boredom slayer. Not really sure who I'm supposed to talk to. If um Of course. I don't know, can you tell me anything about the his friend I'm supposed to be looking for? Nope. All right. Jeez, I have no idea what I'm looking for. I'm ready. I'm always ready. Could. Here's a thought. He have gone in here and died. Absolutely. That is possible. Could have talked with everyone else, and no one else has anything to say about that. Yes. Hmm. So that means I'd have to go into my mind if I knew how to do that. I'm trying to think of On it. how to do that in this area. So there's an item I have that kills me. I don't remember if I have an item that kills me. Hmm. Huh. Impossible blade. That look sounds like a weapon for my one of my melee people. Here. Yeah, because that impossible blade is way better than what you have right now. Alright. Alright, I was looking for something to kill me. Hmm. Doesn't look like I have anything that will kill me. Kinda of funny me looking for something to kill myself in these games. No, oh, I don't think I have anything to kill me. Why of course. Why of course. No. Oh. Hmm. I'm ready. He says he's changed. So I'm assuming he could be a mutant? But I don't see anyone that's the mutant. I'm looking for at least no named person. 
Could he be one of these guards? I'm ready. I'm always ready. No. None of you are saying anything. Useful. Why not? Hmm. Think about the areas around here that have been who would kill me. I was hoping uh, Waits for Prey would do it, but apparently Waits for Prey is practically useless. What do you say after I... Uh, cold fairly radiates the stone skin mutant watching his icy expression. What do you want, Adion? No, he wonders, uh, it's a scrawl like down to you. It's kind of like down to you, but I want you to go away. Looking at you makes me unhappy. Looking at you makes me... Question why we ha uh, you helped me. It makes you wonder if uh, I am better as I am now. He scrubs his teeth together, sh shining sparks. I do not think I am. What did he take from me? Why? I don't think it was just uh, to help him me. Alright. In an instant. He's unhappy with me. No, I can't see anywhere to go. Or anyone to talk to that I'm missing. Hmm. Am I still hungry? No. It says shifting gun Do you want this rather uh, stuff? Oh, bloated too. All right. All right. Not that one. Honestly, I have no idea who I'm supposed to talk to about his friend. Can you give me any information? Yeah, so we're in this place digging through trash. Oh. All right. It's this guy. Crimper. Glad to see you, child. Always a pleasure. May the heaps yield their best treasure to you. Hmm. Have you seen a ring like my friend is wearing? Blinking mouth uh working silently. Tiber uh proffer uh Prefers his hand, clearly at a loss. Yeah, yeah, Grimp says, glancing at Tiber's ring. He runs through the, uh, his filthy uh, rags. I have the one, just like it. He holds it up, uh, pinched between two claws. It's ab it is absolutely identical. A tall man dropped it in a pile of butcher's uh, leaves a few weeks back. He chuckles, uh, uh, chuckles eclipsing Tiber's side of pain side. Brushes his hands off like he handles something awful. The filthy man moves uh, the motion, rubbing his hands front, fretfully in his greasy clothes, then crackles. That's it, Tiber says heavily. He got tired of looking for me. And dumped the ring with that. Uh, our friend's here. He offers uh, you an unconvincing grin. It's better this way. I'm glad he's clear of his plaz. Uh, path. Place. Glad he's uh, gone. I'll remember that. Gone? Kripper says the puzzles? He's not gone. I saw that him uh, this morning, waiting his turn at the Shrine of Great Chilla. All man law looks between the two of you uh, pointedly, clutching a treasure close to his narrow uh, chest. Maybe he's still there? Let's go find him, Tiber. Alright, Tiber says, massaging his hand. Whenever you're ready, lad. Won't. I won't have any peace until I see him again. I know that now. He drops his hand out to his side. It doesn't matter. If he just spits in my face uh, and storms off, at least I know. At least I'll know I tried. He glances over to Blah's lost ring, and the old man uh, tucks it uh, particularly back uh, into his rag with a uh, suspicious cowl. Tyler's mouth quirks, but he leaves the scavenger to, uh, to his treasure. Alright. I'm ready. Now that we got what we needed. So he's at the shrine then. Maybe he's not. Was he the guy I couldn't talk to? I, I don't even. There's so many names here and so many fantasy names I can never remember. Alright. Alright. 
Already then? Let us do this thing. Da ding ding ding. All right. Uh, observant. Moon cultist. Virgin. Was it this guy? I'm making a note. Broken hearts. Taking the antlers, switch from the blue skin to the mutant temples. Permanent creatures shape out his face, revealing a history of skulls and grimaces. His glances plus slices past you to Tiber, and then to a ring on Tiber's hand, he, he dances. Skiss. It matches the one from uh, that tall boy. I had a feeling you were coming from uh, me sooner or later, he says, lips twisting. Never should have put that ring on. It's where uh, he. His twisted hand creeps toward the crude dagger in his belt. Bullying a little girl wasn't enough for you, huh? You want to finish the work that your friend started? Tyrell looks at his hand, then to you, confused. You're turned on. You're attention back to the meeting. You aren't. You aren't. Blah. That's his name? No, I ain't. He drops his hand back to. Uh, to his side. I'm a thief and I ain't nothing like that people. What people you call a nice man. But I ain't no blah either. He spits on the ground. It's like this. Klesla has uh, this headache like I did uh, at her age. One thing that helped uh, her sleep was the singing, wa singing wall. Looks between you and the blank face and his brow, draw, draw furrow, uh, his brow furrows. There's, there was something buried in it. it sounded like voices humming, humming to the air. His expression darkens. And a few weeks back, a man came and put it, her to uh, to the side, knocked a hole in the wall, and took the thing out. He scowls. She begged him to leave it, and and he ignored her and took her her singing wall away. She still cries herself to sleep when she gets to sleep, gets to sleep at all. Poor girl. No, Tiber snarls, turning uh, on the mutant. You're lying. Blood would do, uh, wouldn't do that. Listen to the man, Tiber. Maybe he knows right where Blood is. All is now. But the mutant is staring at Tiber, troubled. Why wouldn't he do that? Every man fight, fights for himself down here. I ain't lying after I came home and found a custody of... Class of weeping, I went after the man, caught him alone. Maybe he saw my daughter in, my, in me because he told him that, uh, he was sorry, and that he took uh, her music away because he was doing dirty work to help uh, a friend. Yeah, it's Ty Tiber. Not that that excuses her of anything, but he might have been telling the truth. After I put out the ring on, I heard laughing. Yeah, it's why I dropped it. I couldn't stand the feel. The feel of the voice in my head, and he was giving a, and he, and he, what, gave you the ring and conversation? Tiber says, hands balled in the fist. He even blinks. No, I took it off uh, his hand before I, got, I dumped the body. He says. Put the hand to stop. Hmm. He has a kid. Huh. Put a hand on to stop Tiber. A second later, Tiber slams it into your outstretched arm. Weren't you listening? This man's a father. That doesn't make his life worth a, a damn. Tiber says, uh, avoiding the gaze. I should know. But something flexes in his eyes. Hold it back. Practically had to use everything for this. You hurl yourself out against uh, Tiber, holding him back from the cowering mutant slowly. But you feel the rage drain from Tiber until his uh, sags in, uh, in your arms. Then, with a uh, firm, calmer hand, he pushes you away and turns his back on the mutant. He flees immediately. I want to have words with uh, Dracon. And soon. It was Dracon laughing. That bastard knew. I agree. 
So, apparently next time, we're gonna find, we're gonna, yeah, confront uh, Dracon or whatever his name is. So until next time, remember, brace the chaos, so you're a good man. Bye.